Hey guys, welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your readings for August 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. I want to make a big old shout out to the Leos out there. Happy, happy birthday to you. We are in Leo season right now. And I want to make a big old shout out to the August Virgos out there. Yeah, happy birthday to you guys as well. So I am back to my old format. Um, I have one central intro that I have recorded for everybody that everybody's going to see the same old thing and then we'll get into the reading yes so you will find a timestamp in the comments section that's pinned at the very top that will take you to the beginning of the actual reading so if you're watching multiple videos and you don't want to watch the intro over and over again you can use that timestamp I do recommend that you watch it at least once just so that you can get the general information may clear up some questions you may have yeah so I would love it if you guys would connect with me on social media. You can find the links to my, my social media accounts, both Instagram and Facebook, in the description box below. But Instagram is at divine underscore conversations. And Facebook is facebook.com slash divine conversations 2711. Yes, which is very similar to my actual email address. All right. These are a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you'd like to look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All of the information is in the description box below, including the readings that I offer. So just read through that and then hit me up. Let me know which reading you would like. If you can't decide if, or if you have trouble, go ahead and email me anyway and describe the situation a little bit and I will absolutely help you choose. Yeah. If you would like to get a, a personal reading, um, I do recommend that you reach out either via email or at the very least through Instagram. Um, I don't recommend that you send me a message on Facebook because I do not always get those right away. I, I've noticed that I, oh, first of all, I don't get a notification from Facebook saying that I have um, messages on that page. Um, so often when I find them, it's like, maybe sometimes days later. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so for those of you that kind of missed out or got lost or something, I apologize for that. But Facebook isn't the best way to reach out to me. You can reach out on Instagram. I do get those notifications and I do see that. I, I do check that more often. But ultimately, I'm really just going to send you to email. All right. So you might as well just, you know, cut the extra steps and just email me. Okay. Because that's really where I handle all of the personal readings. Keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So yes, this is a message coming through that's dated for August of 2019, but it does not have to resonate now. We could be talking about a situation that happened months prior, or we could talk about something that could be coming on months in advance. I do recommend that maybe you check in maybe at the, at the end of the month if you are catching this towards the beginning of the month to see if it resonates for you. But either way, or to see how it resonates for you, but either way, whenever you watch the video and it resonates at that time, then that is the message for you at that time, regardless of the date. Also, keep in mind that for the cross watchers out there, I am speaking directly to the zodiac sign in question, okay? But if you're watching the reading and it's resonating for you, then take that message. Okay. So what I may be saying for the Zodiac sign in question, let's say Aries or Leo, and you don't have that placement or you're not looking at it because you have Aries or Leo in your chart. And yet what I'm saying is resonating for you. Then maybe that message is in fact for the cross watcher and not the actual Zodiac sign in question. Again, it's a general reading. Take it as it resonates, but also please do not try to fit something into your life or into the, the situation that doesn't fit already. Like if you're watching and you're saying to yourself, Hmm, he's saying this, but that really doesn't resonate with my situation. Then let it go. Don't take it. Okay. Cause that means it's just not a message for you again general reading yeah okay um i guess that's it so with that said why don't we get started to, with the reading yeah <laughs> hey there taurus welcome to your reading for august 2019 thank you so much for tuning in so let's just get straight to it taurus i was channeling your energy and normally when i'm channeling for the signs i picture an image that represents the zodiac sign whether it be like the actual symbol the official zodiac symbol or an image like for for Aries, I, I picture a ram's head. Um, for Taurus, for you guys, I picture a bull's head. And it's so funny because I was picturing uh, your energy was coming through very quickly, very strongly. I mean, I do have my in Western astrology, my son is in Taurus, so I am technically I'm a Taurus. Um, 
depending on, you know, or I'm an Aries in Eastern, depending on which you resonate with more. But it was really easy for me to connect with you guys this time. I share the energy for you with you, but for some reason it was just super, super easy to connect with you. And I was envisioning your, your, you know, a bull's face, a bull's head. And all I wanted to do was just like hug you and love you and like kiss your snout or something like that. Now I'm, I love animals. Like I'm a huge animal fan. So I would totally just like cuddle up on a bull in, you know, as and I just saw 111 on the counter. But I would totally cuddle up next to a bull in a field while it's like laying there basking in the sunlight. Are you kidding me? Why not? I love animals. But for you, I guess you guys, I guess you guys just kind of like need that love and compassion here because ooh, because then I started getting into your pre-shuffle and the 5 of swords with the 2 of wands came out. And I was like, "Holy shit, Taurus, what is this?" Um, and under, at that moment, when these two came out, the Ten of Wands was underneath the deck. So you you guys definitely need some love in. Because you're having a decision to make that is... I kind of want to say catastrophic, but it's not... It's only catastrophic because of how the people around you either are going to, to take it, or maybe your fear of how people are going to take it, or... Um, Mm. I'm stopping myself because now I'm getting I'm getting another side to the to the story here. You actually Taurus, you might be all up in your feelings and as a Tauren, I know that is not an ideal place for us to be. Ta -ha! When we get <laughs> when we're all up in our emotions. Ooh. So it looks like for some of you, either you need to make a decision that is a very, very unpopular decision, although it looks like it might be in alignment with you. But for others of you, it looks like you're making a, uh, 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 you're making a decision from a self-sabotaging place. Don't like that, okay? See, look, look at what else is coming out here. Then you have the Three of Swords. Now, the decision that you need to make or maybe the direction that you need to go in is heartbreaking for yourself yes could also be heartbreaking for others yes but also on the other hand for those of you that are resonating with this differently the decision you are looking to make trying to make attempting to make or have already made is from a self-defeated place from a place of heartbreak it could be heartbreak that has from the past that has led you here it could be more recent heartbreak but it looks like some of you have made a decision from a, a, an emotionally volatile place you have the five of wands with the three of cups underneath uh, also and then finally you have underneath the deck you have the six of swords okay excuse me someone could be moving away from the drama, from the turmoil. It could be you, it could be someone that you're connected with. You may need to take a break from a, for a while, try and like get away from these rough waters of, of your emotional ocean and try and like get to some calmer, cooler water so that you can maybe think straight or think from a more level point of view. Five of wands, three of cups. I want to say the Three of Cups is a celebration type energy, but with the rest of the turmoil that's going here, I feel like what this Three of Cups is symbolizing, especially with the Five of Wands, is um, the opinions of others. Some of you may, some of you may have a friend circle or some associates that are kind of maybe getting in the way. I'm just getting, I, I mean, I guess the most that I can say about this is that I'm getting a heavy um, external influence here for you. Yeah. That's really the most that I'm getting there. All right. All right, Taurus. So with all of that said, let's get into the rest of your reading here. Let me just reset a little bit. Okay. Give it, let me give this two shuffles just to reset. And then we will get sorted. All right, guys. All right, Taurus, here we go. Hmm. Oh my God, I just want to like cuddle you guys. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> 
Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Taurans at this time. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of August 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Taurus, five shuffles for you. And look, look I'm just going to forewarn you guys. Sagittarius already made me cry, and I felt it coming, but I didn't say anything about it. Well, I'm starting to kind of feel like that emotional energy for you, Taurus. It's like that feeling where, like, you get when, like, maybe when you're about to, when you're getting close to crying or something like that, you get that knot in your throat. We're going to talk about this. But I'm going to say, I'm going to do my best to keep it together, guys. But I, I might start crying, <laughs> depending on what we get into here. I hope not, but we'll see. We'll see. All right, here we go. Five shuffles for you, Taurus. For my sun, moon, rising, and Venus, Taurus, for the month of August 2019. That's one. This is two. Taurus, sun, moon, rising, and Venus for August 2019. Best messages, please, spirit. Three from a Taurus. Taurus, Taurus. Four. And five. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus, Taurus, for the month of August 2019. Here we go. All right. Overall energy for you, Taurus. We've got the hanged man. Yes. All right. This is good, Taurus. I know you're feeling stuck. You're feeling stagnant. You're feeling like a rock. You're in between a rock and a hard place. And honestly, that rock would be your logic. The hard place is your emotions. That's kind of what I'm feeling here. But this is serving the greater good. Regardless of whatever choice you've made already if you feel like you've made a choice out of haste or um, animosity or just from an emotionally volatile state and now it's put you in this stuck position here this is a good thing okay this is not of being stuck in where it's like really super bad and detrimental it's stuck in the sense of being able to gain some enlightenment and some wisdom regardless of how the situation turns out from this point on you still have an opportunity to gain some sort of enlightenment here and that's really what i want you to focus on i don't want you to be beating yourself up taurus and i know i know in Western astrology, I'm a Taurus sun, but I'm also a Virgo rising. So I know what it's like to beat the absolute shit out of myself over choices that I've made. But I don't want you to do that, Taurus, because ultimately what you're experiencing here is helping you gain some sort of clarity, some sort of enlightenment that you can take with you in, in the future, moving forward and approaching things from a better place in the future. All right. But you got to take this lesson now. So you don't recreate the situation in the future. At least you don't recreate it in the same way. If we'll say for some of you, there is a possibility that you might not get the full message and you'll still kind of recreate the situation in the future, but there will be a difference to it that will allow you to gain something new at that point. Also, we just don't want to be repeating the same things over and over having to, you know, trying to learn this one thing. Get it now, get this one thing now, or at least get as much as you can of it now so you can experience something new or newer or new-ish in the future. You know what I mean? That's what the hanged man is speaking to here. You also could be dealing with a Pisces because this is Piscean energy. You could have Pisces in your chart, okay? Underneath the hanged man is the six of pentacles. Reciprocity. Someone has a fear of reciprocity. You might have a fear of fucking it up. But it's all a learning process here, Taurus, okay? Underneath the six of pentacles, you've got... Yes, the Ace of Wands, and then you've got the Eight of Pentacles. But Taurus, you got to do the work. And that's also part of what is being said here in The Hanged Man. You've got to do the work. Don't run from this, Taurus. Don't run from your emotions. Don't hide in fear, all right? Some of you are learning a lesson in reciprocity right now which is gaining, giving you some sort of new creative vision, some new creative drive. 
some of you have this opportunity right in front of you and it could be a really, really passionate opportunity right in front of you, but there's still, even though we don't have the five of pentacles here, there's still a sense of feelings of inadequacy, which could be leading you to be in this hanged man state or stuck stagnant or in this, in between this rock and a hard place. All right, Taurus. Okay, let's get into the rest of your reading here. First set and sec I'm sorry, first half and second half of your readings. You could look at it as the first half, second half of your month. I recommend you look at it as the first half, second half of your reading because time is an illusion, energies are fluid. I just saw 1111 on the counter. Boop. But take it as it resonates, okay? L let it in, let it flow however it flows for you. Alrighty? First set of round of surrounding energies in the first half of your reading here, Taurus, you've got the Empress. This is you. I really do feel like this is your energy. And if it's not your energy, this is what's surrounding you right now. The universe is surrounding you with abundance. This is that love and compassion that I, that I was feeling for you. I just wanted to like, I just wanted to cuddle you. I just wanted to wrap you in my arms and say, everything's going to be okay, Taurus, because everything's going to be okay. There is abundance here. Not only is there abundance of love and affection, compassion and joy, that you're being showered with from the universe, but there's also an abundance of opportunities for you to learn. So just because this situation may not be going to your ideal liking, it doesn't mean that your life is over. It doesn't mean that you won't have another chance to try again in the future, once the time is right, once you're ready for it, okay? The Empress is coupled with, yeah, the Eight of Cups. So if you need to walk away from something or if someone is walking away from you, have no fear because you were always loved regardless of what people in your external reality may tell you or show you. The universe always loves you unconditionally. But even if someone is walking away from you or you have to walk away from someone else, abundance is, is, is ever flowing. You will never be without an opportunity to learn the things that you need to learn to, to, to grow and expand and ascend. That's literally why we incarnate in these physical bodies so that we can learn. So the universe isn't gonna say, you didn't learn your lesson this time, I'm cutting you off, goodbye. You failed, you're done, that's over with, get out of here. No, the universe is never going to say that to you. They will say to you, aw, well, that didn't work out so well this time. Did you learn anything? Ooh, you got that little gem, excellent. Let's try again, over and over and over and over. I could, I could say that for the rest of my life and I would, and it, it, do you get it? Infin infinite abundance in perpetuity, like forever, all right? And that also might be daunting to you, but don't worry about it. The universe is never going to give you anything that you cannot handle, okay? Second set of surrounding energies for you, Taurus, you have, ooh, the King of Wands. Some of you really just need to have the confidence to go after what it is you want. And that could be the cycle that you're in to learn from. There is a sense of lack mentality here. I just, I just don't have the five of pentacles. We don't have it yet. We'll see if it comes out. The king of wands is coupled with the nine of pentacles. Whoa. There is definitely an energy here of needing to stand up for yourself, needing to be assertive, needing to assert your independence. Be true to yourself and actually go for what it is you want. Not let anything or anyone hold you back. But that's what I feel like you're learning about right now. That's the energy I feel like you're evolving into here, okay? You could be dealing with a Leo, you could have Leo in your chart. You also could have Virgo in your chart because the Nine of Pentacles is Virgo energy or you could be dealing with a Virgo, okay? Your challenge, Taurus, in the first half of your reading, the lovers, Gemini energy. Some of you are in fact dealing with a divine partnership that is triggering the absolute hell out of you. <laughs> um, but see, you could call it a twin flame relationship. At this point, I just call it a divine connection because regardless of the label, any sort of divine connection is going to pull out your deepest, darkest secrets um, and wounds for you to illuminate and to heal. And that's kind of what I feel like is happening for some of you right now. You could be dealing with a Gemini also. 
For others of you, interesting, you, your challenge, the lovers is in your challenge because this is what you want. You want a deep divine connection that you can feel vulnerable, safety in vulnerability with, if that makes sense. But you need to go through all this other purgy stuff in order to get this. So that would be, for some of you, why the lovers is in the challenge section. The lovers is, oh, well, also, you have a choice to make, too. Some of you have a choice to make, especially with that two of wands that came out. And yes, it is not a popular choice. But this, with the lovers being here, in terms of a choice, in my opinion, is a choice either between vice or virtue. Are you going to choose what everyone else wants for you, vice, or are you going to choose what your heart wants, virtue? Mm -hmm. The lovers is coupled with temperance. Yes, honey. You could have Sagittarius in your chart. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. This is Sagittarius energy. But in order for you to gain this relationship that you're looking for, you need to balance out. You need to take all of the fragmented parts of yourself and bring them back into one compound. Alchem Re-alchemize them. Find your wholeness. You also need patience. But now also, for those of you that are making a decision, in terms of this decision, you've got to balance yourself out. You've got to figure out what it is that you want, regardless of what everyone else says, it to, says to you. Like, I almost want to tell whomever is resonating with this, to literally shut out all of the external influence and listen to nothing but yourself, at least for the moment. And even if it's just to see what, it, what you're actually saying on the inside, because I feel like there are some others out there that are trying to drown, literally and purposefully, not all, but some are purposefully trying to drown out your own inner dialogue so they can continue to hold influence over you. That's... For some of you, that's that Five of Swords, Five of Wands energy that came out in the pre-shuffle, all right? Oof. Okay. Now, is that reciprocal? I think not. But this is what you're learning for some of you. Closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading here, Taurus, you have the Ace of Cups. Self-love. I know, uh, that's right. That is self-love right there. Filling your own damn cup by yourself, with yourself, for yourself. Mm-hmm. It's also divine love coming to you from the universe. All that cuddly energy, I just want to wrap you up. Lay in that field with you and bask in the sunlight. Hell yeah, Taurus. Ace of Cups is coupled with Nine of Wands. Taurus, you need to love yourself. For some of you, you are looking for love outside of you instead of inside of yourself, outside of yourselves, which has, has got you so guarded, has put you through the ringer. It's time for you to love you. Taurus. Honestly, honestly, Taurus. You're not going to find this love on the, on the outside until you give it to yourself. And for some of you, that specifically means cutting certain people out that are just draining you, that are lying to you, that are telling you they love you and this, that, and the third, but then they use you or they, 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 they direct you in direction. They, they point you in directions and you're, once you get there, you're like, what the fuck? What is this? I don't want this. But so-and-so whose opinion you respect and whatnot is saying, well, that's what you need to do this. And your heart is telling you, <laughs> no. Homeboy, homegirl don't know what they're talking about. Mm -hmm. You have to give yourself the love, care, and respect to choose for yourself, Taurus. Okay? I know that's right. Getting into the second half of your reading here, Taurus. First set of surrounding energies for you. You've got the, I told you, the seven of swords. Someone's been deceiving you. Or you're deceiving yourself. Are you sabotaging yourself, Taurus? That's kind of what I picked up on in the very beginning in that pre-shuffle. Seven of swords is coupled with the two of pentacles. Interesting. So this seven of swords energy could really refer to detachment. You detaching from the situation and bringing yourself into balance from a place of your own inner wisdom, your own inner knowledge, your own inner truth. 
and your own inner dialogue to help you balance out your life. For others of you, you are making excuses for people that are lying to you, cheating you, stealing you from you, leading you in a direction that they think is right for you, which really is not even close to right for you. You're making excuses for these people just to keep the balance, just to keep the peace even. Mm -mm. Because that's only be that's only hurting you in the end, Taurus. And yeah, it's kind of hurting them too because it's enabling their, I want to say almost busybody nature. But think about what it's doing for you, doing to you also. Or I guess I should say what it isn't doing for you when it when you're getting into it feeling like it's going to do X, Y, and Z for you, but it's not even close to X, Y, and Z. It's A, B, and C when you were looking for X, Y, and Z. You know? Second set of surrounding energies for you, Taurus, in the second half of your reading, you've got the Eight of Swords. Good golly, Miss Molly, some of you are really fucking trapped. And you're explaining it away and allowing people to get away with some shit that you probably never would have allowed in the past. Or you would look at someone like they, like, like, like they were fucking insane for allowing someone to do that to them. And yet here you are. Eight of Swords. The beauty of this, Taurus, is you can cut yourself free. But you have to make a choice to do so. Ah, there it is. You got to make a choice to do so. Mm-hmm. Eight of Swords is coupled with the Queen of Wands. Looky here. Looky here, Taurus. You've got the King and the Queen in the same position. The King came out first in the first half of the reading, second set of surrounding energies. And now here's the Queen in the second half of the reading, second set of surrounding energies. Confidence. Yo, this Queen is straight up goddess energy. I mean, she is so vibrant, confident of her, confident, sure of herself, beautiful, charismatic, sexy, magnetic. She is the most magical queen of all of the queens. I mean, she embodies magic. She is the epitome of magnetism. So with this energy, can't nothing trap you, Taurus, but you have to choose to allow, to allow yourself to embody it and break yourself free from this prison that you find yourself in, okay? I don't care if you're a man, and I don't care if you resonate more with masculine energy. We all have masculine and feminine within us. And the more that you deny that, the more that you push away your femininity because you are more masculine or you're a man is the, the longer, the longer you will keep yourself in purgatory. If you ever wish to be balanced, whole and happy within and of yourself, you need that balance of masculinity and femininity. You need to be able to take action when you know you need or want to, king of wands, and you also need to be able to sit back and allow things to come to you when you need to, queen of wands, okay? Your challenge in the second half of your reading here, Taurus, you have the four of swords. Yep, you need to detach. You need to get away from all of these people that are, tr that are, that are shouting in your ear, that are confusing you, that are clouding your judgment, that are, that are silencing your inner voice. You have to. Some of you need a vacation. If some of you could take like a weekend getaway just by yourself, maybe like take a drive out maybe to a beach or to like to go hiking, camping up to, I don't know, stay in a cabin for a weekend where you can just be alone with you, preferably with nature, Taurus, I highly recommend it. Because some, someone out here needs an escape. And I don't mean an escape in order to like forget your emotions or whatnot. No, I mean an escape so that you can get down to what it is you are really feeling and what it is your inner voice is trying to say to you. Trying to get you to realize even. Four of Swords is coupled with 
the uh, damn yo the seven of pentacles you need some time in this checkpoint with yourself by yourself no other external influence you need to make these decisions for yourself taurus you got to stop allowing other people to make decisions for you you have to because if you don't you're just going to stay in this path of feeling like you have no control over your life okay Woo! i'm not crying this time but man am i getting fired up because I don't like this. I don't like it when, and this is just, okay, fine. We're speaking, this is me personally. I mean, maybe it's universal too. I don't know. I feel like the universe and spirit is way more chill about this than I personally would be, but I just can't stand it when people try to stick their hands in other people's lives as if they own them or like they know what's best for it. Like even, okay, look, look at it this way. Even your mother and father, your mother, not even your father, your mother who carried you to term for, around nine months. I don't know, some of you may have been premature, some of you may have came late, whatever, but carried you to term. She only knows so much of what is best for you. She, she will never even really know who you truly are in, inside the way you would. Why? Because you are the person in your body. You are the person in your mind. Nobody knows you can know you better than your own self. You need to allow yourself the time and the space to get to know that person. Okay? Closing message or potential outcome for you, Taurus. You have the Queen of Cups facing your emotions. Look at her. She's staring right into that cup. She knows her emotions like the back of her hand. She also is so empathic that she knows the emotions of others too. That's not what we're talking about here. What you need is to get acquainted with your emotions. You need to know what it is you're feeling and what it is you are desiring so that you can know how to make the best decision for yourself moving forward, okay? Queen of Cups is coupled with the Ten of Pentacles so that you can learn these lessons and close these cycles out for yourself. Because the Ten of Pentacles to me is, yes, about time, it's about family, it's about financial career or physical fulfillment manifestation but to me it's also about lessons learned in the physical you i you, i uh, oh yes you can kind of i can kind of I, I kind of see the ten of pentacles as like a minor arcana version of the world closing out cycles tens are completions okay for some of you it is your emotions here that you need to get acquainted with that are that will allow you to move forward do that work, Taurus, Eight of Pentacles. All right. I'm really surprised the Hermit didn't come out here. But whatever. Okay, here we go. We're going to close out this reading for you, Taurus. Get you some Oracle Guidance. For August 2019 and beyond. All right, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see what we've got for you. Oracle guidance, please, for my Taurans for August 2019 in terms of this reading. Oracle guidance, please, Spirit. Oracle, Oracle. For my Taurans, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for August 2019. Okay. You have card number 41, which boils down to a five, which represents change. Bring it into form. All right. Okay, here we go, guys. Beautiful dreamer. You can imagine wonderful worlds of light. You can dream up so many possibilities. Now it is time to bring those possibilities of light into the world. They need to be more than ideas. They need to live, to manifest. Your world needs not only your dreams, beautiful as they are, but also your creations. Get thee to thy desk, thy easel, thy computer. Work, beautiful dreamer. Don't just dream, create. 
you are being asked to honor yourself with a commitment to complete your inspired tasks. This will, be, this will help you to grow and that is a wonderful reason to commit. But there is another reason too. You know that your inspired ideas are worth translating into practical forms so that other people can access them and experience something special too. If you have been thinking about writing a book, painting a picture, or acting on an inspired idea, then this oracle is bringing you an unequivocal yes. Do it now. <laughs> Don't dally or dither about the details or worry about how it is all going to work out. The universe loves a bold spirit. Once you take a step, it will rush towards you like an enthusiastic and chivalrous lover, opening doors, hand, hand gently guiding at your lower back as you are moved forward. You will promptly be provided with all that is needed to take the next step. There is sacrifice inherent <clears throat> in translating the perfection of an idea into the limited physical form. Although something may be lost when turning, in, turning a multidimensional concept of endless potential into something concrete, this oracle guides you to realize that there is much more to be gained. You must become free of this inspiration so that you can receive your next inspiration. It is already waiting for you, so on you must go. This, or this oracle also confirms that the information you need to translate your ideas into form will be provided according to the higher wisdom of life. It may or may not happen by traditional routes. If it seems unimaginable, when it is, is, when it is time for something to be born into, I'm sorry, let me say that again. Even if it seems unimaginable, when it is time for something to be born into form, nothing can stop it. It will happen. And there you have it, guys. So there it is, Taurus. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. Again, if you would like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All of the information is in the description box below. With that said, I hope you have a fantastic month, and I look forward to connecting with you again for the month of September. Y'all, take care. Mwah! Bye!